Welcome back to What's the Drill? To find studs in lath and plaster walls, you'll need to use the Wallabot DIY Plus. Now, this device is easily identified by the purple back. Lath and plaster walls bring some challenges, and if you look at this wall, you can see why. Lath and plaster differs from drywall in two main ways. First, the studs may be either placed on edge, like in regular drywall, or flat, like you see here. The second difference are these horizontal laths that are thin strips of wood that fill the whole wall. Now, these wood laths can sometimes cause interference and false readings, but don't worry, I'm going to show you how the Wallabot DIY Plus can find the exact center of every stud. Of course, always begin by connecting, like so, and calibrating the Wallabot device. Go through the prompts, there we go, it's connected. Now I'm going to press the Wallabot to the wall and hit Start Calibration and start moving the Wallabot in large circular motions. If you need more help with the calibration, you can always watch our calibration video. Okay, it says calibration is completed. Once you've calibrated the device, follow the prompts. I'm going to click drywall here. And then we're going to use expert mode. So under the scanning mode, select expert. And then I'm going to now select plaster and put it back on the wall. In this mode, you'll see that strong red image when it detects an object. Now I'll show you how to identify objects like studs and pipes behind lath and plaster walls. With the Wallabot DIY Plus firmly against the wall, move it smoothly from left to right. Yep, there it is. Okay, now move it back to the left, and you can see it again. Increasing the intensity widens the image, and decreasing narrows it like so. Sometimes it makes it disappear altogether. Find the right level of intensity for your project. 80% is usually a good place to be. Now remember to move the device left and right to find the object. Okay, we found the object. Now you want to move it up and down to make sure you've got a continuous signal. A constant signal means that you've got a stud or a pipe behind the wall. If it's a false reading, the signal will disappear when you move the device up and down. Now, you're looking for studs at this point, not pipes. So to verify the object is a stud, look for a regular pattern every 16 inches. That repeating pattern will show you the placement of studs, and you can mark them by finding the middle of every signal. Again, every 16 inches. 16 inches for studs has been the building standard for a long time but it's possible your studs will be spaced every 14 or every 12 inches. The important thing is to find a consistent repeating pattern. That's how you confirm the locations of studs. Now, if your lath and plaster studs are placed flat, like this one, the process is a little different. Let me show you what I mean. Now, when you move the wall about over a flat stud, you'll see a strong red image on the left edge of the stud and again on the right edge. Now once you've found the edges, move the wall about back to the center and then mark that as the center of your stud. <laughs> and that's it. Now you can hammer or drill with confidence. For detailed information on other modes, watch the rest of the videos on What's the Drill.